Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to discuss how you can get the entire family on a round trip over to Europe for cheap using points and miles. Now, in many of my videos and other content creators videos, we talk about how you can fly around the world in business or in first class for a fraction of the cost that other people are paying using points and miles. It is a really fun and comfortable way to travel and one that I hope that everyone can experience at least one time in their life. But as cool as it is to fly in the front of the plane, the reality is, is that a high percentage of people who are traveling are traveling as a family. So if you're traveling as a family of four, it is really unrealistic to believe that you're going to find yourself four first class seats flying over to Europe using points and miles. The reason for this is because airlines rarely ever release first class award availability. So to get four on the same aircraft is just incredibly unlikely. Also, I don't believe that most people, even if there was four seats available, have enough points to be able to book for first class seats. And even if we move down from first class to business class, I still don't believe that most people have enough points to do business class for four people. I recently just went to Sydney, Australia, and I was able to do a round trip in business class for only 135,000 miles. A friend of mine wants to take his family over to Europe round trip in business class, but he has under 200,000 miles. The reality for my friend is that they're not gonna be able to do this. They're seeking too many seats, and also, even if the seats were available, they don't have enough points to be able to make this booking. But even if you don't happen to have many hundreds of thousands of points and miles, this doesn't mean that you can't still go explore. Most of the times I explore are going to be in the US. And when I am traveling around the US, 90% of the time, I'm traveling in basic economy. No, not even just regular economy, basic economy. Which means that I can't even bring a carry-on with me. I can only have the personal item and I can't even choose my seat. Now this isn't a big deal for me because most of the trips that I take around the US are gonna be for like long weekends, so I'm only going to somewhere for two to three days. But I wanted to say this to show that I'm not always flying in the front of the plane. Now when I am traveling internationally, most of the times I am flying in the front of the plane, but just last year when I went to Japan, my flight over to Japan was in economy. And honestly, it was a really good experience. Now Japan Airlines is listed as being either the best or one of the best economy international experiences that you can have. And then also I was fortunate that no one was booked in the middle seat and the woman who was on the end was this sweet Japanese grandma who was the kindest woman. She kept on giving me snacks and she was a great seatmate to have. It was definitely a memorable experience. And even though economy isn't as good as the premium seats, it's gonna get you to where you wanna be. And if you're traveling as a family, get you to travel with who you wanna travel with. So let's take a look at what I would consider to be decent deals to get the entire family on an international trip over to Europe using points and miles. So the first thing that I'm gonna recommend is that you're gonna wanna earn transferable currencies. So what I mean by this is that you're gonna wanna earn points with the specific banks, such as being like American Express membership war points, Chase Ultima war points, City Thank You points, or Capital One Venture Miles. These points are all flexible and can be transferred out to different airlines. And the program that we're gonna be looking at to take your entire family over to Europe is going to be the Air France KLM Flying Blue program. I think that this program is at the top for getting your family over to Europe for a reasonable price, especially if you want to visit either Paris or Amsterdam. The thing that I like so much about their program is how many award seats you'll see available at their low price at the same time. So while when you go on their website, you might see some award seats being just astronomical numbers, other times you'll end up seeing that save award availability and they'll end up being quite a few seats available. And if you end up looking for economy or what we're gonna look at first, which is gonna be premium economy, it's only gonna be 35,000 flying blue miles to fly from the US over to Europe. Now this isn't only gonna be for if you happen to be flying from Boston or from New York. If you find award space going from Los Angeles over to Paris, it's still only 35,000 miles in premium economy. And when you look at these days that have these save award seats open, you may notice that there's quite a few seats available. Like over six seats may be available on the same aircraft. Premium economy is very similar to like a domestic first class. So if you've ever seen a domestic first class, you're gonna get yourself a decent sized seat and you're not gonna be able to get fully lay flat, but you're definitely gonna be able to get yourself more reclined as compared to just a regular economy seat. You get extra leg room. And in my opinion, I believe that most people could fly in premium economy anywhere in the world and not complain about their trip. It isn't gonna blow you away but it's definitely gonna be enough to relax for the flight. Now, 35,000 points for a family of four is gonna end up being 140,000 points for a one-way trip over to Europe. Now, there is about $100 or a little over $100 in taxes and fees each way per person, 
So even though there is going to be that on top of the 35,000 points, I still don't see it as being a bad deal because if you end up looking at how much a premium economy seat is going to cost each way over to Paris, it's going to be somewhere near along the lines of like $1,500. And the great thing about the Flying Blue program is that in many instances, there's going to be a transfer bonus from one of the big banks. So right now, as of recording this video, there is a 25% transfer bonus from Chase over to the Flying Blue program which means that this trip for a family of four in premium economy would only cost 112,000 points one way or 224,000 points round trip. You will have to pay about $1,000 in taxes and fees, but for any family who's looking to travel, I believe that this is within reach for a non-rich American family to travel over to Paris. Additionally, Air France gives a 25% discount to children who are flying with them. So what this means is that if this family of four has two children that are part of this group, then it's only gonna end up being, with the transfer bonus, 196,000 points required to make this round trip award booking over to Paris. Getting the entire family over to Europe for under 200,000 miles is a decent deal in my opinion. You get to keep the entire family together and also you're gonna be one step above economy. And in my opinion, this is a pretty meaningful step when it comes to comfort. Now, I don't know if I've seen anyone else in the points and miles game talk about this premium economy deal. I think that the reason for that may be because there is a really good deal with Flying Blue to get yourself a business class flight over to Europe. They only ask for 50,000 Flying Blue miles for a business class seat. Now, I will say that even though they do have really good award availability as compared to other programs for business class, I haven't noticed it being anywhere near as available as the premium economy seats. And then also, when you look at the taxes and fees, it's gonna be about double the amount that the premium economy is asking for. Now, if you're young or smaller and you don't feel that you need a premium economy seat, well, with Flying Blue, it's only 20,000 Flying Blue miles to get yourself an economy seat from the US over to Europe. So for a family of four, it would cost 160,000 Flying Blue miles to get yourself a round trip. Now, if you happen to have two children and also you are taking advantage of this 25% transfer bonus, it would only end up being 122,000 points that you need to transfer over to your Flying Blue account to be able to book this round trip flight over to Europe. You still would have to pay close to $1,000 in taxes and fees but I see this to be a very reasonable ask for any family who's been saving up for a trip over to Europe. Now there are cheaper points options flying over to Europe in economy with another popular transferable airline partner being Virgin Atlantic. And Virgin Atlantic is also partnered with KLM and Air France. But the taxes and fees that Virgin Atlantic is asking for to fly over to Europe is going to be more than double than what Flying Blue is asking for. So I recommend looking at both options and determining for yourself which one you feel is a better deal. And in the month of April, if you happen to have Capital One Venture Miles, Capital One is doing a 30% transfer bonus over to Virgin Atlantic. So this transfer bonus could sway you into using Virgin Atlantic to fly over to London as compared to KLM, Flying Blue, Air France to fly over to Paris. But just remember that the taxes and fees are gonna be a lot higher with Virgin Atlantic. And if you're looking at premium economy and business class, they're gonna be asking for about 3X of what Flying Blue is gonna be asking for to fly over to Europe. And as I'm recording this video, Flying Blue announced that they'll be having a promotion for many of their fares throughout the year that's booked before the end of April. Now, not every route or flight is part of this promotion, but some of the deals for the promotion is going to be premium economy over to Europe for only 17,500 miles, or business class out of Canada has some routes that's only 37,000 miles. And there are many economy flights flying over to Europe for only 15,000 flying blue miles. The tax and fees would be the same, but what this means is that if you were traveling as a family of four out of Houston with two children and you took advantage of the 25% transfer bonus that's connected with the Flying Blue program, it would require under 100,000 points to get your family of four at a round trip over to either Paris or Amsterdam. A card like the Chase Inc. Preferred card has a welcome offer that when you hit the minimum spend is 100,000 points. So just from one card sign up bonus, you'd be able to have enough points to get your family of four for a round trip over to Europe. This is the power of points and miles. So even if you're not doing some crazy luxurious trip, you still can travel, explore new places with your family, and have yourself an awesome adventure. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments section down below. Have you ever used Flying Blue to get yourself either an economy seat or a premium economy seat. Now, if you haven't have any questions about the Flying Blue program, drop it down in the comment section down below, and I'll do the best I can to answer it. If you ever interested in any new cards, check out the links in my description box to learn more. And if you decide to use them, it does really help out the channel. That'll be incredibly thankful for your support. And if you happen to really like this video, do me a favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share this video, and have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace.